Hey Geeks, Tim Tips here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a quick look at Visual C++ Runtime Installer. Real quickly, Visual C++ is a programming language. It's been around since 1993, so odds are you have an application on your computer that requires the run times to run properly that makes their download smaller. Now what you can do and where the confusion really comes into play and why this exists is right here. There's different packages. 2005, 2008, 2013, 2012, as you can see. So that becomes a real pain in the butt to get them all. And somewhere along the lines, there's five pages worth of them. So you can download them individually as you need them, or this program is designed to give you all of them. It's very, very easy to use. And it's great on a new installation is really what it's aimed for, a new Windows install so you can get them all at one time. If you check your add remove programs, uh, you'll probably find that there's a whole bunch of them on your computer now, or at least a few of them. So you're going to want to right click on this and run it as administrator for it to run properly because it'll run a DOS prompt. And I should also mention, as you probably know, downloading stuff through Microsoft or through the Windows update is very time consuming and slow. So watch how fast this goes by. We're a minute into the video now, and this should take roughly a minute to two minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Could take a little bit more, but we'll kick back and we'll watch it just so you can see how it works and have an idea of what you're dealing with. And I'm gonna get some other stuff ready here in the background while it is running. Here she goes. Now, as you see, it warns you, you should only do this on a fresh Windows session. However, it does uninstall stuff for you so you don't necessarily have to just keep in mind that really is what it was designed for so you can hit r for the readme and to cancel y for yes and kick back and as you can see you've installed microsoft stuff before it takes forever watch how fast this does though you have 18 packages combined and as it says each package will take a moment but look at it we're already one through ten done and it's going to jump again 11 12 won't take long at all so if you're a tech this is something nice to have on the road especially if you're in businesses where they're gonna have stuff that's it we're done so in just over two minutes and I not only explain to you what it is and what C++ is but you're done so you can't beat that and let's take a quick look here under apps which would be under Windows 10 and give it a second to load up and just to show you now it's installed all of them right down here 2005 8 10 Da, 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 da. So they're all in there now. Now I should mention to you, there is no technically such thing as 2017. 2015 was the last release, I think in July of 2015. What this is, is they've named it 2017. The reason being is it takes any updates that have come along since then and incorporates them into what they call 2017. So there you go. Easy to use, free. As always, the download link will be right below in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.